Hello, hello, it is Tuesday today. I don't know why this is... Does that work? No, it doesn't work. What if I turn it off and then turn it back on again? That doesn't work. Why is that? All right, I guess we're I guess we're closing and restarting it, but it's it's I almost said it's Monday. It's Tuesday today, so today is a day for today for standard today, and. I am going to continue my my trek through uh through standard with uh with Bant Super Friends. Last last week um I had I had a lot of success as, actually when I um when I added Jace. And then I brought you the tool. Oh, okay. When I Can say it, why that, is it? I know what I have. No. <laughs> But I had I had so much success last week when I when I added Jace. What's what's his like what's his like full name? Jace. Com the completed the completed mind. Is that it? I think that's it. Jace the perfected mind. But I had oh my goodness I had a huge a huge 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 amount of success. Um. Adding adding Jace the Perfected Mind to to the list. So this is so this is so this is what I've settled on. Um, Jace Jace was a huge boon to the deck last week. Really, Ickermoon Gauntlet is not huge. It's not a it's not a terrific card because. Planeswalkers you control have zero proliferate. That like seems cool, but most of the time you want to use their plus abilities in order to protect themselves. So that's why there's only two of these. Broker's Ascendancy, this is like the actually good card in the deck. And then like a bunch of like modified removal. I went up on the Wraths. So four depopulate, two farewell. Um, one more, two more farewell in the board, as well as two invi as well as two by invitation only. Um... I decided to go down experimental augury and try impulse instead because impulse digs a card deeper and I was not super impressed by the um by the proliferate of experimental augury just cuz it it just it just didn't seem it just didn't seem too too great and then in the sideboard just like a whole bunch of different removal unlicensed terses all that kind of stuff. So, let's give this a shot. I'm actually super excited for this. Okay. Okay. And I do... I do have my dinner in the oven again. This is, like... This is normally when I eat. When I, when I didn't used to stream, I would come home and, like immediately eat but now that i stream i have to come home like get showered and changed and like clean myself up so that i'm like at least somewhat presentable on camera and then like get and then like get ready for this and by the time i do all that it's like 5 30 and i'm just like well i don't i don't have a, I don't have a ton of time if if i did stream full time which i would love to my goal would be to be to like start streaming at like two maybe or start streaming at like four instead and then I could be done by like six that way I always forget that Tommy is five I always want to think that she's four that way I would have like a more appropriate um, like time to eat and all that. Uh, are these Golgari sleeves? They're like, 
Oh, they're um, they're like the with like the the wither bloom sleeves, I think, right? You're gonna start running on a timer there, bud. You play you play a land card, okay? All right, he's got it. Okay. Do you, you have something else? No, okay. Um. What could be so bad that you play on two? I mean, I guess it's free to play that. Because the Deserted Beach comes into play untapped next turn. Deserted Breach, Dreamroot Cascade. These are pretty lands. Okay, Lanawar Wastes. Passes. Deserted Beach, pass. He probably thinks that I'm just like some kind of control deck. Maybe. Although control is not control is not viable in standard, so I don't think. Hmm. He also hasn't played anything. Maybe this is just like Topiary Stomper. Maybe he's scared to play something. I need to land. See, had I been playing Experimental Augury, I might not have hit this land. I'll take the brush land. Uh, play Overgrown Farmland. Just pass. I think I'll probably just flash in the Emperor. Opponent plays another land. Plays Copper long legs. Okay. Passes. Well, I'll flash in an emperor. I will. I'm not overconfident. Make a token. Keep watch for intruders. Jace the perfected mind. Well, play Jace. Yeah, we'll full price him. Uptick Jace, give this negative. Put a counter on this samurai. I think I just want to make like a really big samurai. Because. If I eventually depopulate, then I haven't, like, wasted a bunch of turns on, like, making, like, a bunch of different tokens. And I've instead just made, like, one big one. I could also depopulate and then, um, like, down take the Wandering Emperor, like, a bunch of times in a row. So that's also something that I could do. Is this a kill spell? No. Liliana of the Veil. You can make me discard a card. Probably make me, yeah. That's fine. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of personal space? Oh, it's okay. Oh, so is this is this the mirror? Is that what this is? Is this the mirror? Um, hmm, I don't really feel like discarding a bunch of cards. I think I want to complete, I think I want to complete Tamiyo. Hmm. Okay, let's start let's start by making a token. Let's start by upticking this. And then I think I wanna complete this. And tab this down. And then just kill Lily. I think that's probably fine. No fun when they hit back. So this Jace is milling for 21. 
Ooh, shield looks good. I mean, she's okay. Shield looks good. She's, like, decent right now. I'm really not under any pressure, so I don't feel like the need to immediately get rid of Shieldred. Because I can just actually keep Shieldred tapped down with this Tamiya. Okay. The Wanderer. That's fine. So let's keep Shieldred tapped down. Pick this up. Put a counter on this. Show them how we greet our enemies. I think I just want to depopulate to kill the shieldred. Yeah, let's. Yeah, let's just do that. Pass the turn. So now, if they play something, I can just fate collapse into it. I can faithful absence that. I can just keep it tapped with Jace. Actually, whenever it attacks, he'll make tokens. So I'll probably flash that back and shuffle it. Yeah. Shuff he wants the shield back. Sure. That's fine. The Ekermoon Gauntlet's interesting. So let's keep it tapped down. Let's keep Jace on it. Let's take this down for a samurai. Actually, I could take it down. Ooh. I could just get rid of it? You know what? Let's just get rid of it. Play the Wanderer. Let's exile the token so that they can't draw another card and just pass. And, like, how do you come back from this? Okay. Nah. I'll take the damage because I have Icker Moon Gauntlet. So make a Samurai. Oh, nuts. Tap her down. Do this. Play Icker Moon Gauntlet. Play Fateful Absence. Well, nah, I don't really need to. So he'll gain two. That's fine-ish. So 48. So opponent's milling three times, three times X. Opponent's milling 30 right now. Uh. Let's just keep going with Jace. Um, yeah, we can keep this Tam. We can keep this Shieldred locked down. Such an imperfect form. I think let's just proliferate, and then we'll use Jace to proliferate, and then go to combat. Hit you. Ha! Opponent doesn't want anything to do with it. Um, I think all of these cards are good. I kind of just want to run it back. Like, am I am I crazy for just wanting to run it back? Wow, Tamiyo is really good. Maybe I should be adding. Maybe I should have another Tamiyo. Tamiyo is really good. Maybe I should have, like, one more Tamiyo and minus one Nyssa. Hmm. I think I just want to run it back. I think Disdainful Stroke is, like, medium, but it wasn't terrible. You know what? I'm just going to run it back. I don't think that I have, like, a whole lot of information, even, but I don't know. It's a little expensive. I want to draw, like, an early impulse or something. Let's get some of these tap lanes out of the way. Okay. 
Okay, so opponent's not doing much of anything on it. Anyway. Ooh, misses a land drop. Okay. I actually could have gotten Jace out. Ooh, misses another land drop. Okay, now is the time to... Oh! Just doesn't want to do it at all! Wow, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, all right. Maybe I am I am so super tempted to add another Tamiyo. Maybe I will. I don't think I have another Tamiyo, but I think I have a wild a mythic wild card to add another Tamiyo. I do. I have exactly one. Ugh. Maybe, 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 maybe. I could do this and then put like the other Nessa in the sideboard. All right, okay, let's do it. Just because Nissa is like super, super slow. Nissa's Nissa's just here because she's because she's a planeswalker. That actually went super great. I feel kind of bad in that second game, but that's just because like my opponent didn't draw any, didn't draw any lands. Okay, I mean I can depopulate, play Tamio, and then wipe the board again. This seems fine. Oh, I like these sleeves. That's that's Sundering Titan, I think. Love Sundering Titan. Oh, is this that white blue? Is this that mono blue deck with the Delvers and stuff? I did pretty good against that deck last time, but I don't want to play against it this time. Oh, well, play Ravenverge Thicket Pass. I think I'm just going to try to shoot out Wandering Emperor here. Yeah, I'm going to try it. It'll probably get countered. Yeah. Which I figured. So then... Does Tamio also get countered? Oh, uh, let's go... Yeah, double... No, she does not. Okay. So, we got a planeswalker on board, got a planeswalker on board, so tap it down, and then we're just going to pass. Another haughty gin. Um, destroy target creature with toughness 4 or greater. Ooh, okay. I actually feel like I have a really good matchup against these guys. Ooh, Broker's Ascendancy. Let's take the Ascendancy. And they didn't counter any of those spells, so I think I can just drop this. I can just drop it. Let's exile this. Okay, Timmy has Notebook. Spells you cast cost two less to cast and tap draw a card. That does sound pretty good. Another Haughty Gen. Um, depopulate. Play. Get Tamio's notebook. Draw a card with Tamio's notebook. Pass the turn. Gets another counter, even though I'm minus seven dead. That's three haughty gins in the yard. Three haughty gins in the yard. Take down a slip out the back. Uh, yeah, I mean, just uptake it. Exile. Ooh, done. Done. Oh, did I, did I find, did I break it? Did I finally do it? Okay, so destroy evils, fateful absence, negates. Um. Disdainful strokes. Going down a bunch of the more expensive planeswalkers. The Ickermoon and Ickermoon Gauntlet, I think. And then probably like trimming across the board for some of these other ones. Maybe I don't need three disdainful strokes. I can just go, go two. I think three negates is probably 
well, we can go two negates. Go back in. Hmm. I do need win conditions. I mean, Jace, Jace is a win condition. Um. Yeah, let's just go. Let's just go with all the negates. All the removal, all the negates. Yeah, try it. Try it like that. I'm up a game, so even if my opponent, I am not three and two. I'm currently, I'm currently one and zero though. One and zero. Boop. Nice. Off to a good, off to a good start. Ugh. So what does this hand do? It kills a thing and then nothing else. I think I can do better. That's better. Put back a wanderer. Disdainful stroke. I'm I'm only just now realizing disdainful stroke is actually no good. It has it has toughness four. It doesn't have CMC four. Hmm. We'll, we'll see if these Disdainful Strokes actually do anything. I mean, they do counter Talarian Terror, I suppose. Impulse. Do you have a counter spell? You might, but I don't think you countered it. I'm just going to take a land. Take a land, play a land. I'm not going to run out the Jace, pass the turn. Thirst for Discovery. Land Haughty Jin, probably. Land nothing. Well, land. Not gonna bother running anything into a counter. Land nothing. Okay. Go. <laughs> it's a standoff. Draw a card for each island you control. Draw five cards, discard two. Yeah, we'll we'll disdainful stroke that. I think that's fine. Cause doing that, they might they might have done it as bait, but like still drawing that many cards, I don't think I want my opponent to do. They don't have anything anyway. Yeah, we'll just we'll just keep passing. I would really, really, really like to be drawing lands this whole time. That one you can have. Discard two. That's a really good card, I think. Discards two islands. Considers. Land. Haughty Jim. Destroy evil the Haughty Jim. He was going to attempt to save it. I am going to negate, destroy evil the haughty gen. Another spell. Sure. Impulse. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get Tamio down. Not resolving. Yeah. Alright. So, this Haughty Gin is a two turn clock. So, I do have to find a way to actually get rid of it. Not drawing lands has really not helped me at all. So, it's Depopulator Bust? Yeah, okay. Yeah, not not drawing lands did not help me at all. Okay, so I can take out these disdainful strokes.
Hmm. That doesn't do anything. This makes one with reach. That's good. Yeah, we can we can do it like this. So the disdainful strokes just don't do anything. Farewells do. Farewell is just another wipe. Which maybe it's correct to have three farewells. But mm, I will play. Come on. Really? Oh, these one land hands. Seachrome Coast. Brush land. Maybe this time you will you will give me lands. Impulse. I will take a land. Yeah. Now I'm not gonna get anything but lands. Not gonna run out of Haughty Gen. Okay. That is probably wise. Thirst for discovery. Yeah, this deck is, like, mildly annoying. It's pretty good, actually. Yeah, I'm I'm comfortable with this. I know it's going to eat a counter spell, but... Yeah, that's fine. So... Uh... Green... Uh, double blue. Another counter spell? Wow, okay. Alright, that is unfortunate. So there's the Haughty Gen. So, destroy target creature. There's probably a one mana to gate because of the Haughty Gen. Fateful Absence it. Or I guess I should have done that in the re in reverse so they didn't have the, the clue to crack. I feel like I definitely may lose this. Although my opponent has missed quite a few land jobs. I mean, that's probably a land. Okay, plays Talarian Terror. Ward 2. So we'll destroy it. Yes, I do. We'll pay the ward. Okay. Another one. What does this get me? Target player mills three cards. If, graveyard, if a graveyard has 20 more cards in it, you draw three cards. Otherwise, you draw a card. So I can Jace on Talarian Terror. That doesn't really do anything. I mean, neither does just sitting around and doing nothing. Probably eats a counter spell. Yeah, maybe maybe I kind of windmill slammed my hand too quick. Impulse. Okay. He's going to more than likely counter this impulse. If I can impulse into, like, farewell, get rid of the graveyard and the creature, that'd be pretty good. He is going to counter it, yeah. There it is. He'll probably counter this, too. Also, I don't like the mismatched negates. Like, it's common. You can just craft all of any of the art you want. Even even the even the even the ones that I like are are good. So it's farewell or bust? 
That doesn't even do it. It's depopulator bust? You can probably counter it. Yes, sir. Yeah, that deck's annoying. I I 100% blame that loss on my on my second on my second game in that match because I I brought in disdainful strokes not not thinking about it. Let's get a pack. I want to get a pack. Uh, not re not Shadows of Rune Astrad remastered. Although I am very excited about that. I do love Shadows of Rune Astrad. And it's going to bring, like, a lot of really good cards to Arena. Like, Grizzlebrand. We're getting... Oh, that's bulk. We're getting... We're getting Grizzlebrand. Mm-mm. Amazing. I love me some Grizzly B. Grizzly B. Man, I remember playing, like... I remember wanting to play, like, Grizzlebrand in Modern. But then by the time I was ready to like play it, they had banned Mana Monkey. Mana Monkey didn't do anything. I don't understand the obsession that Wizards has with like giving us like dozens of free spells, but nothing. But like no no fast mana is allowed. I'll just play this. And then play Jace, tick it up and do stuff. So what are you discarding? Discards Galvanic Iteration and a land. Okay, so it's Grixis mid range? Do I need to be wary of counter spells? Is the question. Apparently not. I mean, at least they didn't do that while I had a planeswalker out, so. Is that how you say, is that how you say Phyrexian? So if he makes a copy of that when its power is down, what happens? I'm actually super interested in, in knowing what happens. Okay, it does nothing. Well, I think I just want to depopulate. Okay. So we will take it up on here. What happens if you make a copy yeah. of it? Does it... Does the copy have... Power on top of this? It does. Okay. Huh. That's interesting. Attacks, attacks. Does not care for Jace. Interesting. Maybe because there's an ev there's an ev invoke despair coming. Is that what it is? So two copies, sacrifice chase, and then two four six. That's annoying. That's an annoying card. Okay, so... Definitely Disdainful Strokes. Probably Down Negate. 
Um, definitely trim these Ikramoon. Well, Ikramoon Gauntlet is actually the safe one because of Invoke Despair. So I think I'd just want to trim a Broker's Ascendancy here. And then destroy evil kills enchantments. This kills creatures. I think it's fine, like mostly fine the way that I have it. And I can just run it back. I think I just want Disdainful Strokes to deal with invokes. Actually, if I want to deal with Invoke Despair, maybe Negates are not a bad idea either. I could go down like another Broker's Ascendancy and maybe a Wanderer. Yeah, that, that seems fine. That seems... that seems good. Man, I can now see why people, like, want Invoke Despair banned. I don't agree with it, but I get it. That card's annoying. Especially paired with Galvanic Iteration? Blech. Oh, we also learned um, a very valuable lesson, which was... Okay, Sparse Headquarters. Sure. We also learned a very valuable lesson, which was, um, you can, in fact, copy a token that has its power and toughness changed, and it stays as whatever it was. Okay. This is just, like, duress. Sure. I'm just gonna take a land with this one. Oh. Um. Hmm. I don't like that. Do impulse. So it's probably this and this. It's probably Nissa depopulate. I think one of them is definitely Nissa. Yep. Yep. Wow, I love being right. I do. I love being right. So this just gets got by. Invoke Despair. Ah, I was hoping you missed a land drop. Rude. Okay. Can I attempt to... Nope. Okay. Man, that card is obnoxious. What an obnoxious Magic the Gathering card. I think I just discard Acre Moon. Enough with the mysteries. I've come for answers. Actually, I think I just discard Depopulate. Do I still have? Yeah, I'm gonna discard Depopulate. I mean, it's not really doing anything for me right now, so. They're gonna counter this. Okay. They're gonna kill it. I am the Emperor of Kamigawa, and I will protect my people. They're gonna kill it too. Okay. So not killing it. Uh, combat. Attack you. Watch it. Important to make your land drops. I think I just hang on to the Icker Moon Gauntlet to discard to Lily. I don't want to turn this down. I still haven't gotten new speakers. I really need to. Invoke Despair. Cry. Cry. 
Like, what are you supposed to do? I'm tired of your secrets. I mean, I have Jace the Perfected Mine. That doesn't really do anything. I mean, it ticks up. He does, he does stuff. And then in response to Lily uptick. Destroy target enchantment. Which, I mean, you could have avoided that had you just upticked Lily beforehand. Like, and then you would still have a counterspell in your hand. <laughs> we all have things I'm we just saying. Make her only nine cards. Good. Go. I don't have anything. Because you made me get rid of it all. Discards two cards. Each player discards another card. Don't overthink. Well, it's got one card in hand. But if they ever draw another invoke despair, it's just like over. Harder to turn on his second ability than I like kind of thought. And eventually this is gonna ultimate and sac and make me sacrifice all my permanents. Yeah, this, this is not looking good for me. And I keep drawing lands. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, it's just lethal. He can copy the Blood Tithe Harvester and then that's six, seven, eight. Drop it. Does he do it? No. So I can draw farewell. Farewell is the best draw. Well, that's disdainful stress. Ugh. Brutal. Yeah, I don't like... I don't like Invoke Despair. I don't like that card. I got I got a Consolation Prize, though. It's, on a, it's not an Atraxa, because I already opened four Atraxas. Ooh, another White Sun's Twilight. I think this card is actually really good. You gain X life, create mites. If X is five or more, destroy all other creatures. I think that card's like sneaky good. Like, am I crazy? Am I crazy for thinking that? I will be right back. So what? One in one in two? Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, okay. Get rid of this, I guess, just because I can't cast it. Record. One, two, three, four. 
one and two. Unfortunate. Spara's headquarters. As far as headquarters go, Tranquil Cove is an interesting choice. An island. Oh, Lord. So stuff with, like, more, like, super heavy interaction. Oh. This is just control. You can't convince me that this is just not just control. Shut. What? Okay. Chase? Okay. Phyrexia showed me the truth. Flesh. You're gonna protect it? Wow, okay. So it's like a white blue. Oh my god, it's really Anyone who harms my people must that's a shame. attend with me. Yeah, that's upsetting. Remember your training. So actually if you put another counter on it, I actually get to kill it. Ooh. Ooh. Because this will reset the counters on it. I made it just in time. You're coming with me. Oh, and it appears at the beginning of their... Oh my gosh, this card is so good. Why are, plain, why are Planeswalkers so... These standard Planeswalkers are really good. This Jace is excellent. Okay. Okay. So strange. Ooh, that's good. I like that. So let's target this. Blink this. Okay, so he doesn't have any interaction. So this Tamio should come down. And she does. So let's up Tigger to tap this down. You do not write this story. Boom. Now I basically just have the ability to control the whole board. But it deals combat damage to a player. <laughs> but it can deal damage. Does it counter not to one target creature? So now we... Um... Do I just for each player it? Yeah, let's let's for each player. So I'm gonna choose this one. Get rid of the others. I'm gonna tap it down. I'm gonna do this to it. I'm gonna try to cast a Teferi. It resolves. I'm gonna draw a card. I will defend the past. I am here to learn. And like, how do you deal with this? Like, how do you deal with the fact that I just have four planeswalkers? Sure, put counters on it. Like, it kind of just doesn't matter. Let's draw another card. Okay. Let's blink it to reset the counters. Let's uptick on Tamio. Uptick Jace. Play a land, pass the turn. Yeah, he's just gonna keep ticking up the Wandering Emperor, which really doesn't matter a whole lot. So my turn. Draw another card with Teferi. Another land. Not super keen on that 
Excel up to one target artifact or creature. Let's get Tamiya's notebook out here. Let's activate it. Draw another card. Goodness, it's another land. Target it to one creature. Play this. I'm gonna cycle this. So this is going pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. So now I just need like a Broker's Ascendancy or an Ecker Moon Gauntlet, and this deck is humming. Strike fast and strike hard. I mean, four Planeswalkers and it's humming, so. Cycle Spars headquarters. Uh, play an Impulse. You gonna counter the Impulse? No. Ooh, Broker's Ascendancy. There it is, there it is, there it is. My turn. Play a Broker's Ascendancy. Does it resolve? It does resolve. Activate Tamiyo's Notebook. Oh, are you gonna destroy it? Oh, he's gonna blow it up. No! That's so upsetting. Can I draw another one? No. That's upsetting. Chase it. And wander it. And... Chooses a permanent they control and returns it to its owner's hand. Then they shuffle each non-name permanent they control into its owner's library. Doesn't do anything here. Let's... Let's just uptick draw a card. There is There's another wanderer. Can teach us. Yeah, I don't really like. I might, I might KO this wanderer. Sure. Show them how we greet our enemies. Yeah, let's let's KO the wandering emperor. Our swords will cross again. Yeah, he's gonna sack the clue. During his end step. Another depopulate. Tap it down. Use the notebook. You do not write this story. There's an Icker Moon Gauntlet. Icker Moon Gauntlet. Jace. Um, proliferate. Negative 12 to fairy, take another turn. Oh, I did it. Okay, okay, okay. End the turn. Whenever you draw a card, put a counter on him. That's a lot of the populates. Proliferate. 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 Oh, almost. Almost, almost, almost. It still doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step, so I'm okay with like not doing anything about it this turn. Just draw a card. I am here to learn. Pass the turn. Okay. Silica skull bomb. Cracks up to draw a card. I'm positive. Not cracking it to draw a card? Cracks up to draw a card. Yeah. That's the correct answer. See, there's nothing for planeswalkers though. That's uh, that's an issue. So we'll put a counter on them. Proliferate. Submit. Proliferate. Submit. Proliferate. Minus fifty. 
Keen Jace. You oh, mill 45 cards? Nothing. Woo! Okay. Uh, I want to see what was in there. I have a right to know about those cards. Boo. So now I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like Disdainful Stroke is not good. I think these... De this to populate was like medium. I don't want to go down all of them, but I think I can maybe trim one. Destroy Evil was probably like kind of bad. Negate's probably good. Try it like that. Try it like that. Ugh. Finish the college challenge and ready to move on. Check out level one, the full course, a resource located in the top right of the main menu on the learn more page. Was there more after the color challenge? Does my does my opponent want nothing to do with me? That's I mean that's perfectly acceptable because like I'm doing really rude stuff. <laughs> I think it's fun though. I think it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's all it's all planeswalkers. People love planeswalkers. I've been waiting for a while though. It's a Dominai are mysterious cosmic beings that became sentient as the Phyrexians completed the terrain of Mirrodin itself. Is that what they are? Hold on. I wanna I wanna like look at the art of the Dominai like very very closely. Four lands, three spells. Ooh, so close. I mean, I think this is like hot medium, but it's fine. I don't have green, but okay. I'm so confused. Is this like an aggro deck now? I mean, this is a populate will be good. I'm so confused as to what as to what this deck is. Okay, so like, so like the art of Mondrak. It's like the art of Mondrak is like this big. Okay. So what about Grivnod? Domino? A deserted beach to populate? Spell Pierce? Nice! So like my opponent is just stuff. They're j it's it's just stuff. Okay. I mean that is flash. I don't know why you play. I don't know why you play it now. Ugh. Jace or Teferi? I guess Jace. I mean they didn't have a counter for Depopulate, so maybe they don't have a counter for Jace. Okay. No counter for Jace. Surrender your mind. Will. Surrender your mind to Phyrexia's will. Or are you gonna make it? Are you gonna like give it hexproof or something? No. Organic minds. Okay. Good. Stabilizing. So you get a two-two with first strike. Okay. Where did the other life come from? Oh, the Lunark veteran. 
going to draw your second card. Halo Fountain. Is this like literally just a bunch of cards? Goes attacking. Doesn't do anything. Okay. Um. I mean. Keep on this. Do I try to farewell? I could farewell everything. So if I play to fairy and it gets countered, where does that leave me? Let's let's just try to farewell. I want to go creatures and graveyards. I think. Yeah, I think getting rid of the Halo Fountain is more important than me keeping Ickermoon Gauntlet. Okay, this is the counter spell, though. Maybe not. Maybe phasing something out instead? So you successfully wasted that? I'm so confused. Can we shoot you? Oh, let's play the fairy. Oh, there's your counter spell. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I wonder if they drew it for that turn. So I guess. Can I find a? There's an Ecker Moon Gauntlet. Yeah, we'll just yeah we'll do we'll do the, we'll do the Gauntlet. Um, they have one card in hand. What's the worst they could possibly? Do? Okay. What you are thinking won't work. Are <laughs> we just gonna do the same thing? I'm gonna take this to fairy though. And then continue down taking on this Tamishi. When it dies, puts counters on target creature you control. Do I just kill Tamishi and then I can keep the Parish Blade from attacking Jace? How foolish. Yeah, let's try that. This also lures a counter. Okay, so there's no. Well, there might be now that he drew it. Teferi. Okay, so that resolves. So make... Eh, draw a card. Ooh, Another mystery. Okay, I like that. I like Granite 7. Go Shintai of Lost Wisdom. I kind of don't like that. Witnesses the future. I mean, honestly, I'm pretty close to just killing with this chase again. Doesn't have you believe in though. Draw another card. Much to consider. Organic minds are easily quelled. Hmm. Do I want to run in seven? Now let's let's Tamio. Play Tamio. Yeah, we'll just keep this tap down. I actually could exile the Ickermoon Gauntlet from the graveyard and play that. Okay, so Goshen Tai have shared purpose. So. And then mills me for two. So scary. Oh, there's a broker's ascendancy too. 
Yeah, let's just exile all creatures. Yeah, all creatures. Uh, draw card. Now that nice. Is an interesting Do this. Do you this. Oh, actually, I could have done the Ickerman Gauntlet Such an there. Perfect form. Create a token that's a copy of that. Card. Okay, Desperation Sack of the Land. Get an Acre Moon Gauntlet. So this now says proliferate. And then when I cast this, I'll put another counter on Jace. And then I can cast the Wandering Emperor to put another counter on Jace. And then mill three times 15. Jace win. Jace win. Amazing. Ha ha. Oh, I got the Jace win. Sweet, sweet. Jace is good. Jace is good. Jace holds down the fort, dude. He holds down the fort. This into control give an additional plus one plus one game vigilance. What's this? Ah, patch notes. Okay, one one more. Nice. Nice. This deck is cool. I am I'm I'm definitely excited to try out some other stuff though. I'm not really sure what I want to, like, actually try in Standard, because, like, I don't want to play what anybody else is playing. Like, I don't want to, like, I just want to play Bruise. Like, I just want to see, like, I just want to go, oh, that's a cool card, and just, like, play that card in, in Standard. Maybe. I might, I might try more. I might try more Super Friends. <laughs> I might. I think I'm gonna try. So I have an idea for like a um, for like a white green like artifact aggro deck that I think I want to try next, and then maybe after that try try some more super friends, because I would like to try Acre Moon Gauntlet and All Will Be One in the same in the same deck, because they because like they both care about planeswalkers. Well, Icarus Moon Gauntlet specifically cares about Planeswalkers, but All Will Be One makes Planeswalkers better because they they shoot things for damage. This is like medium, but I'll keep it. I mean, it's got Impulse. It doesn't have Impulse on two, which is like a little awkward. What's this? Okay, so this is like a five color legendary deck. Or maybe oh um, okay. Yeah, some kinda some kinda something. It's got it's got Joda in it, I'm sure. Okay, Fable in the mirror breaker. Sure. Ooh, I need to find a land. Find a land, find a land. Alright. Found a land, found a land. Discards us two lands to try -ums. These are these are try. I don't care what they say. This is Bant Triumph and this is Judge Triumph. So it's just five color stuff. Probably has a try in that. Okay. Let's do Ascendancy. I'm gonna kill it. Okay. Not killing it. Good. I want to draw land, actually. Hmm. 
Hmm. Discards a land. Plays a land. Goes to combat. Attacks for five. I wouldn't mind to populate. Okay. Um. Hmm. I think I just pass an emperor. You're gonna kill it on my instep? Ah, so can Okay. These are actually like really cool looking spirit tokens. So he's gonna make a copy of the Blood Tithe Harvester. So then he'll go to combat. It's not like a huge blowout or anything. I still take seven down to. I'm still down to six. Or um, not six. Yep. Okay. Wow. Well, um. Depopulator bust. It's probably destroy the. It's probably destroy this guy. Oh, not destroy this guy. Okay. Ha. Ah. So if this would die, shield counter. If this creature would be dealt damage or destroyed, remove a shield counter from it instead. Depopulate. Make a blocker, even though it has trample. So lame, so lame. It's just like, it's just a five color pot, like. This card's a cut down. Okay. Goes attacking. I mean, I'll block and take four. I can destroy evil it. Or I could also wandering emperor it. Tyvar. Three. Does not destroy a creature. Does not return a creature. I'm gonna wandering emperor now. Because A, he can't do anything about it, and B, I'll get a counter on it from the ascendancy. Let me no, 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 no. Destroying it, okay. Okay. Do you have something with haste? Look like it. Pyrex's form will Chris three three. You serve me now. Untap it. Ready for mountain. Farewell. Make a samurai. Play broker's ascendancy. Pass the turn. Holding the fort. Negate backup. Am I gonna do this? Is this gonna work? Is this gonna work on four life? Probably not, because my opponent like also has planeswalkers. What does Luca do? Deals damage divided. Okay, it deals damage divided among creatures and planeswalkers. Creates another three three. Touch my nonsense, bro. Untaps it. I believe in you, friend. Passes my turn. Another broker's ascendancy. Okay. So I can just keep making these. So 
So I attack. What happens? He double blocks? Probably not even that. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pass. I'm just gonna pass. Just gonna pass. Passing, passing. Yeah. Okay. Not a huge fan of that. But I still get two. Like that's a lot. I still have negate mana. So mills three. One, two, three. Get back, get ba get back a blood tithe harvester. Doesn't do anything. Mills three probably gets back the Titan in this tree. Yeah. That's gonna be an issue. Gonna be an issue for sure. Another steel. So all he has is Titan of Industry. So let's make another blocker. Keep watch for intruders. Mm. I'm not sure about that. I think I just want to leave open both destroy evil and fateful absence because when the titan of industry comes down he's gonna destroy one of my things and probably put a shield counter somewhere so in response to it yeah he's just gonna win you're just gonna win most slam it like yep and then win most slams titan of industry so go full control so he'll enter I don't care what he chooses. And then in response to that, destroy evil it. Discards another Luca. That's unfortunate, but I do still have like an army of massive, massive creatures. I think I want to destroy this Luka. This Luka making an army of blockers is not something I'm interested in. Huh. Damn, that was interesting. May your blade strike true. Tamia is very interesting. Do I play Tamio? I feel like I have to leave up this negate just because I like I don't know what could possibly happen. I don't know why. Like I just I just have that feeling in my gut that Negate needs to stay with me. So it doesn't get anything back with the Tyvar, just cashes it in. For another Tyvar. I don't really care, because like at some point my opponent's just gonna mill himself out. Like a like a Jace is almost lethal here. Okay, there's a Traxa, Cruelty of Gex. Protect the people. Pass the turn. Put a counter on everything. Like I've seen almost my opponent's whole deck. Like a Jace is a Jace is just lethal here, honestly. Okay, would like the Jace. Um Keep watch for intruders. I can now successfully play Tamiya. Yeah, let's leave up blue mana. 
Farquhar's Ascendancy is so good. Like, I wouldn't have been able to do any of this if it wasn't for Broker's Ascendancy. I'll just tap the Blood Tithe Harvester. It doesn't matter. It's just, like, another card to put on the board that my opponent has to, like, look at and be like, oh, now, now there's that. Still no attacks. I think I'm just going to go with the Mill Out plan. Okay. I don't care. He'll take up on the Blood Tithe Harvester. I'm well aware that he has Tyvar. Like I'm not I'm not concerned about that. We can do this all day. That's true, we can do this all day. Okay. Ha! Scoops it up. Ha! Okay. Okay. So. Uh Disdainful Stroke is excellent. Ikramoon Gauntlets are not excellent. Destroy Evils are good. Oh! Scoops up the whole match! Doesn't want anything to do with it! Fantastic. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's so funny. He just didn't want anything to do with it at all. That's so funny. You know what? You know what? Do we have any standard cards that reanimate creatures? Do we have that in, in standard right now? Do we have that? That returns creatures from the graveyard to your hand. This one returns little creatures? Hmm. Return, return, return. Invoke Justice. Shieldred's Restoration. Okiba Salvage. No one left behind. A lot of stuff that cares about like little, like little, little, little creatures. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder if that could be interesting. Stuff that cares about little, little creatures. Okay, okay. There might be something there. Maybe there's something there for next week so i don't know what i'm playing on friday i'll figure it out um i feel like brewing in standard is easier than like brewing like straight combo decks i'm really i'm really not sure what i want to brew because well, I'm I'm not sure I'm not sure that I want to brew like Song of Creation just because it's so it's so hit or miss. It's so cool when it works, but it's so hit or miss. Ugh. And I don't and I don't want to play historic. So I'm not so I'm not sure, but I'll figure it out for Friday. So uh, as always, uh, thanks so much to everyone for hanging out. And I will see you all next time.